In this video, I wanted to talk about check sheets. Uh, we use check sheets to uh, help us determine the um, relative importance of uh, various, um, in this case, defects. And the other thing we do with it is to, um, it, it gives us a graphical representation um, of those defects. We will use it as a data collection mechanism, of course, to feed some of our other uh, charts or quality tools. And so um, without uh, further ado here, you can see pretty much what a check sheet is from this um, Excel spreadsheet. Uh, we have two columns, basically. Uh, I added a third here just for fun, but it was basically two columns. One is a defect and the other is the count. Uh, the, so we have these set of defects or defects that you might find um, uh, printers uh, use uh, to evaluate the output. And so um, in this particular case, uh, there's com contamination on the back of some sheets. Uh, and you can see the hash marks we use to keep track of those uh, number of defects, the occasional blank sheets. Uh, blank spots and so forth and beside those I had just counted up um, uh, actually counted the number of hash marks generally we use uh, four verticals and then a slash through those four to represent the fifth and then it's very easy to count 5 10 15 and then three more is 18 5 10 15 for the next one and so forth so that's uh, basically um, the uh, check sheet you can see from a from a graphical point of view that uh, it you didn't have to count to see that the um, there was more for the contamination on the back than the others uh, again this is a very simple basic uh, tool that's used uh, and a lot of times it's the very first tool we will use so and it is one of the seven basic quality tools